Hey family, how you doing? It's me, Fal. Fallon. Um, today I want to kind of help you navigate through some things because I hear a lot of people um, saying that they need help learning why do they fast, how do they fast. In fact, on TikTok, we kind of just went viral um, when I put up a post about fasting and about listening and hearing from God. And we got over um, 170,000 um, views off of that in comments. So the first thing I want you to understand is that fasting is, ne is it's a necessity. When you're walking with Christ, okay, fasting is a necessity. Fasting is not putting down social media, um, not going on the phone. Those are things that you can remove as a distraction, but it's not biblical, right? It's not in the Bible. When the Bible talks about fasting, with um, each each and every individual that fasted, whether it was Daniel, Ezra, Jesus, even himself, Esther, um, these people put down their plate. And it's a reason why God asks us to put down the plate, because for one, now you're killing the flesh. Now your soul is empty, is purified, and you're at your most vulnerable state. And now this is when you really um, walk into... Um, your spiritual entities. That's why we notice that when Jesus fasted for 40 days and 40 nights, that's when he had his encounter with Satan. Like, I noticed that when I fast, um, a lot of spiritual warfare happens. I start seeing things more spiritually. So fasting really just gives you clarity on how to see things spiritually. Fasting does not move God. You got to understand me. God is already going to do what he said he's going to do. God has already done it. Jesus has fulfilled everything on the cross. But what fasting does, it does remove and help you fight in the spirit realm to identify what's coming against you. It gives you clarity. It brings forth power. So when you're fasting and you have clarity, you're walking in power and faith. So when you say a thing and you decree a thing and you declare a thing, now it has to align. In fact, I think about the scripture when Jesus was telling the disciples, they were asking him, like, why couldn't they cast out um, the certain demon and all of these things? And Jesus said, listen, this type of this type of demon comes out through fasting and praying. So it's just really saying that it gives you a sense of clarity and power. When you're fasting, you have authority, you have clarity. So now when you see something, you're seeing something way differently than you did when you had all of that food in you, all of the world in you. So fasting really does bring forth clarity. Um, in fact, you see that when Daniel was fasting for those 21 days, he fasted with fruits and vegetables and stuff like that. You hear a lot of people say, oh, the Daniel fast. And I like to say each fast should be individual. It shouldn't be always something that, because that worked for Daniel, because Esther put down her plate and said that she didn't eat. Ezra, they didn't eat. Jesus had nothing, right? So oftentimes me, um, I don't know if many of you know, I am a pastor of Pray to Slate Ministries. I will have it in the description box how to get to our YouTube channel if you want to um, see how I teach and, and, and get our teachings, full teachings. But this right here is just something personal, just a conversation, just to give you an idea of why you fast and how you fast. But you see that Jesus, he had nothing. So when I call my church to fast, we usually do, I often fast with just nothing, right? Sometimes just water, but I'll do three days with just water. And most of the time it will be nothing. But when I call the church to fast, most of the time it's from 6 a.m. to 6 p.m. And it's just liquids. And after 6 p.m., I um, we break our fast. And I think that doing it that way brings so much discipline and and so much power because when you're saying okay i'm just gonna do fruits and vegetables like daniel did okay that worked for daniel but at the end of the day it all daniel really did that because he was showing the um he was showing the officials how he eats and he was saying to them that he eats fruits and vegetables and it, and it, doesn't, it doesn't diminish his strength. This is why we have to start reading the Bible and reading it in its full context, right? But when you look at fasting, you really want to, you want, you want it to be sacrificial, right? Because it's not going to kill you. If Jesus didn't eat for 40 days, 40 nights, and it didn't kill him. But you, but what I'm saying is you want it to be a sacrifice. When you're saying, oh, I'm just eating fruits and vegetables. Okay. 
For some, it might seem like it's a sacrifice, but it really isn't. But when you're killing the flesh and you're like, listen, I'm not going to have nothing but just water. That's a different type of walk. That's a different type of spiritual uh, 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 um, enhancement that you can see in the spiritual realm. That's a dis that's that's a dis different excuse me a different type of discipline. So I often teach it. I often teach our church how to be in full authority and full submission to Christ in discipline. And I just want to encourage you to read your Bible. Read your Bible for yourself because what I'm learning, especially as becoming a minister, is that a lot of people are teaching from the pulpit in their opinions, um, not in full context, right? So you just really want to start reading and getting an understanding for yourself. Now, when you're fasting, the whole world, the Bible says the whole world does not know, have to know that you're fasting. The Bible says to wash your face and keep it moving. So when you're fasting, you want it to be something that is unto you and God. Everybody does not have to know you're fasting because God said when you do it like that, you wish you shall not receive your reward from him. Right. But you should you you're trying to receive a reward from man. Oh, I'm fasting, I'm fasting, I'm fasting, trying to look all holy in and out. Now, listen, it might be different when you're fasting as a corporate fast like we do with the with the church. And um, we're all fasting together. So we know that's something different. But you want to make a habit as doing the intimacy between you and Abba which means father, only you and him know. So when you fast and you want to wash your face, the whole world doesn't have to know. And you want to be in your Bible. You want to be praying. You want to be reading the word of God because now you're going to start hearing from God clearer. Fasting often brings so much clarity that you can hear from God because God is always speaking. But when we have so much going on in our lives, we can't digest him. We can't hear him. In fact, the Bible teaches us when Elijah had his moment with him in the cave after the earthquake, the thunderstorms and all of these things, it was a small, still voice that God spoke out of. So when God is speaking, he's not trying to compete with anybody because he's God. So he's just going to speak like this. He's just speaking to you. He's just like, go that way. Take that job. No, that's not the husband for you. No, that's not the wife for you. No, that's not the opportunity. This is where the opportunity is at. That's where your financial blessings is at. This is how you will understand the word. And this is what I meant. I didn't mean what they're saying, but I meant this. So when you're fasting and you're praying, it puts you in a whole nother level with God. It puts you in a whole nother position with God. So I want to unction you today to say, you know what, maybe I've been going back and forth and a lot of people were saying on TikTok and my TikTok name is Foul God, F-A-L-G-O-D. And a lot of people were saying the little G because there's only one big G. Um, but a lot of people were saying, you know, um, this is confirmation. I felt like I want to fast and need to fast and this, that, and third. Maybe this might be your confirmation, right? Maybe you've been going back and forth and you've been saying, I want to fast. And it's so crazy because we can find ourselves to do anything. You, you, if you wanted to lose weight, you're fast. But when it's unto God, we have to put a whole bunch of chaotic stuff to it when it's really simple. It's simple. It's just doing it. It's just saying, okay, at the 12 p.m. tonight, 12 12 a.m. tonight, I'm going to start my fast. and um, Or you can do it like our church do. And you say, you know what? I'm going to fast from 6 a.m. to 6 p.m. I, I, I really came up with that structure because, and a lot of other people do it too, because it gives you a time slot to be intentional. So this way, if you say, oh my goodness, I ate a little something, you know, after midnight or something, you don't have to um, be weighed down in condemnation because that's what the enemy likes to do to us. But if we have like a, a set time slot, you say, you know what, from 6 a.m. to 6 p.m., I'm not going to have anything today. I'm not going to put anything in my mouth. I am just going to pray. I'm just going to read my Bible. I'm going to listen to worship songs. I'm going to meditate. Meditate means like after I read my Bible, I'm just going to sit still and just, and just have a moment, you know, just sit just like this, just sit still. And it gives you time to really hear in the spirit. I, I need you to understand that us Christians are supposed to be walking with authority. We're supposed to be able to cast out demons. We're supposed to be able to raise the dead. And the church has made a mockery out of the Bible because all we talk about is money. Yes, the Bible says that money answers all things, but that's easy. But what about 
when your when your loved one is sick and the doctors can't do nothing else, but you can, you can walk in that room with authority and said, rise and get out of that bed in the name of Jesus of Nazareth. This is what they did in the Bible in the New Testament. I mean, their faith was so strong that the Bible says that that Peter and Paul that they shadow with heal people. There are things that we're supposed to be able to do in the spirit, and I need to keep. I need to be honest with you. Those witches, those warlocks, they're walking heavy in the spirit and they're manifesting in their sorcery and they're fasting. They're quick to fast. But us Christians, it's always something. So I just want to encourage you today to fast. I want you to say, you know what? I, I, I didn't just stumble by this video. This video is something that um, I've been praying about and I'm going to be intentional and I'm going to fast from 6 a.m. to 6 p.m. I'm not going to put nothing in my mouth. I'm just going to have water, you know, um, and just pray and just read my Bible. And I promise you, and you can put it in the comments, but I promise you after your three days, after your fasting, you're going to have so much clarity, um, instructions, directions. You're going to have so much faith to move in the spirit realm, to move with authority. You're not going to be afraid to cast out a demon. You're not going to be afraid to call money unto you. You're not going to be afraid to declare your life on how you want it. And the truth of the matter is we're not seeing certain things that we want happening in our life because we're not walking in authority. And that's what fasting does. It helps you to walk in authority. So I pray that this blessed you. If you feel like, you know, you love this content and you just like this conversation it wasn't too churchy but it was still raw effective and real listen just hit the subscribe button hit the notification bell so you can know when i upload and comment and like because the algorithm so we can help other people that needed to understand why do we fast and how do we fast and talk to me in the, in the comments be now listen be appropriate because I don't play, you know what I'm saying? So be appropriate, but just, you know, but be honest. Tell me how you feeling. Let's build up a community that we just feel safe to talk about things that no one is really talking about. Because again, us Christians, we should be walking in authority. And it is time, y'all, that we start walking in authority. So I love you all to health. My name is Fallon Brown. They call me Pastor Fowl, and this is Fowl BTV. Bye, guys.